In this video, I will demonstrate how to find sources using a database. The database that we will be using is Academic Search Complete. Starting at the library homepage, library.unr.edu, click on the Databases tab in the center blue search box. This is a list of databases that the library has access to. We know what database we want to use, so we can search for it alphabetically. But if you're ever unsure what database to use, you can filter by subject. You'll have a list of subjects to choose from, all of which will have a list of databases that relate to that subject. This is the search interface for Academic Search Complete. It looks a little different than OneSearch, but the skills to navigate it are the same. We are going to talk about two ways that you can search for information using a database. The first is using a keyword search, just like we did in OneSearch. In these boxes at the top, we enter in our keywords. Down below, we have more advanced search options if you want to add filters before you search using your keywords. For now, I'm just going to enter in our keywords media and body image. Notice that as you type in keywords, the database offers other keywords that you could add to your search. Here is our search results page. Look at the number of results. Remember the number of results from our search in OneSearch? This number is much more manageable. Just like in OneSearch, the filters are all located on the left-hand side of the screen. Now let's look at result number four. Here we get all the basic information about the article. The title, authors, journal title, subject terms, and summary. Over here on the right hand side are a number of useful tools. I am going to point out three of them. First we have the email button. Just like in OneSearch you can use this tool to email sources to yourself. This is a great way to keep track of sources you find. Next, we have the citation generator. You can copy and paste whichever citation style you are looking for, but be sure to check the citation for proper formatting before turning in your paper. Finally, we have the permalink button. If you want to be able to access this article again, you will need to use this permalink, not the URL from the search bar at the top of the screen. From the detailed record of the article, we can also utilize our second method of searching for sources, subject terms. Subject terms are like hashtags. If we click on one, the database will search for every article about that subject. We can then refine that search by adding terms to the search boxes. Notice that some of the articles are the same as our initial search, but we have also uncovered new articles. There are two ways to access the full text of an article. The first is to use the Find It button. When this button appears, it means that the database we're searching in does not have the full text to the article, but it will connect you to another database that does have the full text, if it's available. If it's not available, the Find It button will link you to Interlibrary Loan, a free service where you and our libraries will borrow your desired article from another library. The other way to access full text is through the PDF Full Text button. It is found on the results page, at the bottom of each listing, or on the detailed record. Now you know how to locate and search within a library database to find information relating to your topic.